Okay, you need a cord for your computer. Where's the first place you shop? Goodwill or Salvation Army. I'm closer to Goodwill today, so I'm going to go look in there first. I might get a chance, if I don't find it here, to go into the Salvation Army near me. Uh, well, it's not really near me. It's in a different area, but uh, it's interesting. The Salvation Army has them all bagged and hung on a rack. Salvation Army were in a bin, so we're going to go in and look through the bin, see if we can find a computer cord that runs from a desktop computer to a monitor rather than go into Best Buy and find one for you know twenty dollars or Radio Shack finding one for twenty five we're gonna try to find one for less than here and look at this they've done the same thing but they have certified cords great oh they're a little more but that's okay if we know that we work this is really nice battery. Uh, they've got $5 a certified laptop charger. And here's the car, cord I re need right here for $5. And the fact that they've checked it makes it well worth that to me. Great. Super. I told you so. I told you so. Look at this certified uh, hard drives. So can you, can you wow. I gave it to you. But let's see how many gigs are these. Huh? 160 gigabytes. Wow. For 15 bucks. How could you beat that? Let's see what 10 bucks gets you. 10 bucks gets you one that's uh, it's got a different end on it. <laughs> 80 gigabytes. We've got memory memory chips. Uh, 10 bucks for two memory chips. I'm having a little trouble reading what these are. Don't have my glasses on. One gigabyte chips, so you get two two gigabytes for ten dollars. How can you beat that? Uh, Gigaware, whatever this is, connects. Oh, connects different hard drives. Uh, connects SATA hard drives. Oh, look at this. Here's a uh, at desktop hard drives too. Five dollars for. Doing too good looking at finding the gigabytes on these. Am I? Let me look at this one. Different, different writing. Well, oh, that one says right on it. 80 gigabytes. That's 80 gigabytes. Great. Excellent. Gee, this is really nice. I could use one of these to back up all my photos with. I get from my computer. We get more than 180 gigabytes. I don't know. Of photos. Certified to work for 30 days. Well, oh, look at this. This nice monitor, Dell monitor. Only forty dollars. Our routers. Excellent. Uh, look at this. We have an Amazon Kindle, Kindle for 20 bucks. We have a Sony e-reader for 20 bucks. Ultra thin keyboard cover. Uh, uh, cameras with no chargers. Here's a... Uh, sound blaster cover. Uh, it's a 
an assembly. Looks like it's got the Pelletier Junction heatsink into it too. Uh, gee, I wonder if it's got the, uh, the uh, chip in it too. Hmm. Pots. Good tech. I wish they labeled that so I know exactly what that is. But just the, just the fan on the Pelletier Junction is worth way over $5. Good at Willow well Street, ten dollars. Uh, yeah, that definitely has a chip in on that one. Rotors, uh, CD writer, different ether cords. It looks like. G4 at 1.2 gigahertz, CPUs 1 gig, 4 gigabyte hard drive, 100 bucks. Neat. Neat, neat, neat. So that was fun going in Goodwill and finding out. I talked to the uh, uh, cash out person and they said uh, that this is a new service that's only been going for a month. It's called Good Techs. And what they do is they certify that the item you buy, the computer item you buy, will work for at least uh, 30 days. Uh, you can get a full run, full run refund after seven days. After seven days and with 30 days, you can be, bring it back for store credit. So, kind of, kind of a neat idea, I think. Um, you know, a cord. Uh, if it works now, it's usually going to work for good. The cord I had is frayed a little, so I'm, I'm hoping that's the problem with my wife's laptop. It was interesting to see the, the hard drives that they had there and the other pieces of computers. I'm sure what happens is someone donates like a laptop or a hard drive, I mean a, a PC, and it doesn't work. So what they do is strip out the parts and sell the parts individually. So instead of having a defunct laptop that doesn't turn on, they take out the memory, they sell that for $5, take out the hard drive, sell that for $10 or $15. So all of a sudden, they've generated $25 worth of revenue from something that wasn't functioning, again, as long as it's tested. Be interesting to see if all the hard drives are completely erased or not. So also, blue was the day for half price, so I got a book on shrubs. This includes wild and cultivated shrubs. 500 full page photographs, and I already learned something. I collected some juniper berries, but juniper berries are not ripe until after the second season. So I picked green juniper berries, which I don't know if I was supposed to do. So I'm gonna have, oh, nice botanical terms. I'm going to have to check into that. And another, I couldn't resist this for a buck fifty. <laughs> this enormous size textbook on biological science, Scott Freeman, second edition. And it's got how many pages? It looks like it's got, it's got uh, 1,200 pages plus. I think I'm going to enjoy reading this. I'm going to I'm going to check into the sex life of fungus and mushrooms and things. And we're going to read about that. And uh, that will aid me in my mushroom growing. Uh, but this looks, uh, looks real interesting. Real interesting. Okay, there it is. So this was $1.50. <laughs> this book was a buck. 
and then I spent a buck fifty for the cord, which was the reason I was going in there. So there we go, Mike Kennedy saying have a good day and God bless you.